What's up guys, RK here, and I've been doing some research into the importance of uh, families eating together. So, you know, on the theological side of things, um, when the apostles talked about the four things that make up an official church meeting in Acts 2.42, they said that one of the four things to actually make a church meeting legal is you have to have a meal together, what we call breaking bread. You know, the Bible is also separated into two covenants. Uh, the Old Covenant and the New Covenant, and a covenant would never be official until the two parties making the covenant had a meal together because the meal makes the two into one, which is also why, you know, you always finish a wedding with a meal because it's, you know, now it's two families becoming one. Um, also in Luke 10, when Jesus is sending out his disciples to reach cities, um, this is one of the few times where Jesus actually repeats a commandment uh, twice. You know, in Greek and Hebrew, when you want to emphasize something, you repeat it, right? So he tells his disciples, you know, when you get to the city, eat with the people there, and whenever they said before you, make sure that you eat it. So this tells me that um, eating is one of the most important things for us to do if we're going to try and reach people, you know. But let's move on to the family side of things. So eating family meals together um, five days a week actually drastically lowers a teen's chance to smoke, drink, and use drugs. But here's an interesting, yeah, interesting thing. Teens who have fewer than three meals together a week with their family, they're three and a half times more likely to, to have used drugs uh, other than marijuana, three times more likely to smoke weed, two and a half times more likely to smoke cigarettes, one and a half times more likely to drink alcohol, you know? So on the healthy side of things, um, families that share meals together with their kids more than three times a week, they're less likely to be overweight, they're more likely to eat healthy food, they'll perform better academically, they're less likely to engage in risky behaviors like we just talked about, and they're going to have better relationships with their parents. So here's an interesting quote from the, uh, the journal Adolescent Health. It says, more frequent family meals are related to fewer emotional and behavioral problems, they have a greater emotional well-being, they're more trusting and helpful towards others, and they'll have a higher life satisfaction. Um, also, the American Diet Association said that families who eat dinner together with the television off are more likely to eat more fruits and vegetables compared to those who eat separately or eat with the television on. So if you want your kids to eat more vegetables, be healthier, have uh, a higher um, satisfaction in life, then eat meals together. If you want your kids to be less likely to do drugs, drink, party up, smoke, whatever, eat meals together. So I want to challenge you guys, why not try to have one meal with the family together, or let's say five, one meal with the family uh, a day, five days a week, it's going to drastically in increase the health, the satisfaction, the well-being, emotionally, physically, spiritually of your kids. So let me know what you think questions in the comments below. Um, I'd love to hear what you have to say about this. All right.